G'day folks, Rich Burdess from Datacom New Zealand here with a quick guide on how you can use Flow and Power Apps to post a message with an attachment into Yammer. Okay, so we have a standard uh, Power App which has got the Yammer connector. You don't actually need to have the Yammer connector. Um, this one uses Yammer and we pull out messages um, from a feed um, just as an example of what's going on. Um, and then you'll see you can use the Yammer connector, get messages, post message, uh, follow, get groups. None of those connectors will allow you to post a message with an attachment. So you can post a plain text message, but you can't post a message with an attachment. So if you're trying to use a Power App, say in the field, take a picture um, and have some contact with it and send that into a Yammer group. Um, I mean, you could use the Yammer app to do that, but if you've got um, you know, a unique need and you need um, other things to happen, um, say you know notify a special group um, have some sort of action um, another trigger get the information about who's sending all that sort of stuff um, the Yammer app by itself might not do everything you want so you can use power apps to build your own app to do that plus other things um, so in this scenario though you're going to need to come up with a workaround to be able to put that attachment into your Yammer post there's a couple options um, if you're more Cody, you can write um, an API REST call, um, and that will hit you up with um, extra licensing uh, to send a custom HTTP request um, up, and then use REST to get that message using the send and post message um, API control. Or if you're a power user, you can just go straight into email and send the message you want to post to Yammer via an email. The send email to Yammer action is really cool because um, it will always send you a message um, and if you put an attachment in that message it will display that um, attachment in the body of the, the Yammer post so if it's a uh, picture then it's going to put that picture up nice and big in your group so it's super cool um, especially when you want to put, put an, an image in and so all you need to then figure out is how can I make an attachment um, into my thing so it's basically the SharePoint list and then you're done so I won't fill this out just yet but I'll show you the flow the flow is easy. Um, you've got your standard trigger, SharePoint action, when items created. Then you go off and get attachments. This will get you all the attachments. This is why I've limited the amount of attachments that I can have in my uh, Power App to one. Because um, if I let it to be more, uh, my end users could create um, a post with multiple attachments. And the method I'm using here uses a, an apply to each. So it's going to loop through um, every attachment and send an email per attachment which might be all right, but you'll get the same message with a different image each time. So just depends um, on the use case. For this example, the idea is one-to-one, -one, right? So one image, one post. Okay, so we go and get the attachment. Um, ID is the ID of the item created. Now what happens with the apply to each? As soon as I go and say get attachment content, so under SharePoint Actions, um, you'll see you've got um, get attachment content when I can find it. Um, not delete attachment. Get attachment content. That's going to put an apply to each, possibly. Oh no, maybe not. Let's give it a shot. Whoops, not that one. There we go. So as soon as I go into file identifier ID because there could be more than one attachment and flow doesn't know it's going to basically give me um, an apply to each and it's going to loop through so let's just delete next I don't need that one I've already got it going on further down um, so I, I go out and get my attachment content so you need the ID from the trigger and then the smaller ID from the apply to each so basically when you do get attachments you've got these three cool little things which you need to remember um, and it's the small ID that goes in that one and it's the same, there's a lot of posts on how you can move an attachment into a SharePoint library. So this is the same sort of thing, right? You grab the attachment, but you're posting it to Gamma. And then I do send an email. Um, I know the address that I want to send to, and it's basically the, all the trigger, um, the title, the Gamma body. I put created by just for fun. Um, and then in this section, display name is the name of the attachment. And then you'll find when you do a get attachment content, when you click into the attachments control um, in flow, you'll get this little attachment content one, and that is you know, the thing that you're going to attach. That's his name, and that's the thing, um, you know, the file itself. And that's all you need. Um, 
what I found when I do this, I do get a prompt in my O365 email to confirm my post. Now I think I've got that setting turned on in my Yammer network. I think you can you can disable that, but let's so you, let's step through and you can see how that works. So let's post to Yammer. Okay. Here we go. Attach a file. Let's grab a pick. Um, let's do the butcher of Bakersfield. Post. I clear the form once that's submitted. That's gone through. And check my flow message. That's all come through. But if I go to my Yammer group, nothing will show yet because I've just had a ding in my um, email there. It says I got a message. Okay, this one here. When that loads up. Cool, here we go. So there's my message. I got this prompt to so say, just check that this is legit. Um, you can disable that in Yammer. Let's post the message. So yes to posting it. And then in Yammer, there he is. Arnie, running man. Okay, and that's as simple as that. So basically we're using flow as our method um, to send an email with an attachment so we can post it straight into Yammer um, as a post with an image, uh, which I hope helps a few people out. I've seen a few people asking questions about how to do that. So I hope this is yeah, useful. Cheers.